What's up guys? It's Dale again. Today I just want to do a quick video on how to refill your small propane bottles for your camp stoves. I know a lot of you guys use these. They could be really expensive. But if you have a big tank like this, these are really easy to fill up. A couple of things you're going to need is this propane adapter, which will actually screw right into the tank. And I'll go ahead and do that now. It is a left-handed thread, so screw that in like that. I always just tighten it down, hand tight. It doesn't have to be, you know, that tight. Then what you're going to do is you'll take your propane bottle, your small propane bottle, and it goes on here like this. Tighten that up until it goes tight. You make sure your other fitting doesn't come loose. And then you simply turn this valve on on the bottom. And hopefully when I turn this on, the camera will pick it up, but you'll hear the pressure in the two bottles equalizing. Well, let me get under here. This one's tight. And you can hear it, possibly. And you just turn it on, just, you just don't have to turn it all the way on, just let it sit and you'll hear it. And eventually the pressure will equalize in the two tanks. And then I'll show you what to do here in just a second. Now, now see that one's already done. I don't hear it anymore. So you reach back under here, you turn this off. You disconnect this propane bottle. And then what you'll have to do is bleed it, which lets the air out of this tank. And to do that, what I use is just an old screwdriver that was had a broken end and I ground it off. And you simply put it down in here like that and you'll hear it. And that's air escaping. And then usually on the first try, it doesn't do a lot. You let some of the air out. You begin to smell gas. Sometimes you'll be able to see it. You let some of the air out. Put this back on. Like this again. Tighten that up. Reach under here. Turn this back on. Again, you can just, you, you'll hear it. And you just let the pressure equalize. And then, once again, you simply reach under here, turn it off again. And, once again, you may have to do this two or three times, but you simply continue to let air out. Filling it. And you may have to do this two, three, four times, whatever. You can feel the weight of the green bottle as it begins to fill. And uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. There again, I know a lot of you have been watching my tour video, my update on that. Hopefully, by the end of the week, I'll have another video out on that. I'm just about done, but I still got a few minor things. And I've been helping a couple other people. I, one of my nomadic friends, Seven Gray, which some of you may follow him on YouTube. He's, uh, his channel is Seven Wanders the World. And he's also got, I think he's got two channels now. One is, is more or less just a personal blog type video channel. And then the other is a tiny home tour channel. So you may want to check him out. Go by and say hello. All right. There again, you'll hear it. 
when it stops hissing or making that whatever noise yours makes, there again, you just turn it off, disconnect it. And you, like I said, you can feel it. I mean, this one is pretty much practically full. And there, you see the gas coming out. That's pretty much all there is to it. Then what I like to do, I don't know where I did with it, is anyway, I don't, I don't know where it's at. Gee, man, here's one. I bought a bunch of these caps off of Amazon or just a brass cap that goes on the top of it. Just help it seal. I know a lot of people get a little scared when it comes to propane. It's one of those things that's never bothered me. But anyway, this, that's the way you do it. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them below and I'll get back with you. Until then, stay safe and have fun and we'll see you on the next one.